Hey fam, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Hope everyone out there is having a good Wednesday. Y'all, it's been a good start to my day. Woke up early, two quick cups of coffee, worked, home. Before I got this video done, went for a quick mile run. Still not where I want to be at, still not where I was at this time last year, right? But gotta start somewhere y'all so we're back on the grind y'all but hey we're back back with another reaction hope you guys enjoy this one it's gonna be a good one i like this compilation i put together so i ain't gonna talk your guys's ear off too much enough with the chit chat let's go on and get into the reaction look at that on a cross look at the type of blasphemy look at that they put a they, they put a they put an idol a demon on a cross straight blasphemy of the lord jesus highway 61 look at this this is a woman leaving a man packing her bags leaving her, her husband look at the short dress look at the red bottoms sexual perversion immorality look at the dog it's a demon she's following the dog leaving her husband adultery look on a crossroads look they even put a red cross look at this and look where it goes up to satan with a guitar in his hand and look, at that, look, look what it says right there lucifer express 666 you see look i can't make this up bro this is in disney springs where little kids walk in this is the first thing you see look at look at the art bro i'm telling you man the devil's a liar this isn't the this is the first spot look at this look at this bro are you kidding me we didn't even go 100 feet look at that that's another demon holding a child that's a demon holding a child a man in a coffin witchcraft and like i said earlier look at that look at the blasphemy straight blasphemy bro and these are all totem poles they used to use totem poles in the old testament the pagans would use totem poles for idol worship look at this look at this 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 angel of light a fallen angel but yeah as you guys can see the totem poles when people when people say you know you shouldn't have a christmas tree when they're in the book of jeremiah i believe when it talks about ornaments on the tree it was actually talking about a totem pole this literally when the lord says do not put any ornaments you see what i'm saying ornaments on a pole they would actually put ornaments on a pole and worship it it was it was witchcraft they are it's crazy y'all it's crazy how deep it is it's crazy how it's right there in our face right you just gotta look for it you just gotta know the knowledge and then just look for it you go looking for it you'll see these signs hidden everywhere right that dude i liked he did a testimony this i found on i found him on youtube he was like an ex-drug dealer into that life right started doing other seances and stuff like that and then he gave his testimony on YouTube. Check him out, y'all. I don't remember his name. I just stumbled across it. I don't know if you guys remember. I did a testimony of how this dude saw Jay-Z while he was smoking weed, demonic, all that stuff, right? On my other channel. It's gone now. But yeah, so uh, that's how I uh, I stumbled across this guy. Now he's doing TikTok. So I love watching his TikToks. They're pretty interesting, y'all. Hiding this from you. Did you know that the Great Wall of China is 13,171 miles long? And why has it always been downplayed throughout history? To put that in perspective, from the east to the west coast of America, it is on average 3,000 miles. You have to times that by four and add 1,000, and you're still not at that number. It leaves you to wonder, how did they build such a wall, and why? Did you even know that China was that big? They started to build the Great Wall of China in 220 BC, before Jesus had even walked the earth. No sane ruler or country would dedicate that many resources and power to build something with no purpose, especially if they knew it would take over 1,000 years to build the finished wall. Who were they defending against that they needed all 13,000 miles it? to even fathom winning? What or the who were they so scared of? The theory is that the wall was built by the Tartarian Empire. If you look at old maps and photos, you would see that the steep side of the Great Wall and the lookout post is actually facing China. Normally, those sides be used to prevent any invaders from climbing up or to pick off enemies with crossbows. The fact that it faces China implies it was built by someone else, the Tartarians, to keep whatever was in China in, rather than defend what was in China. Follow to learn more. The grim fates of the twelve apostles. Peter, in Rome, he was crucified head downward. Andrew, bound to an X-shaped cross in Greece. James the Greater, by the sword, he was beheaded in Jerusalem, the first apostle to be martyred for his belief. John, though he did not die a martyr, he suffered in exile on the island of Patmos and eventually died of natural causes in Ephesus. Philip, in Hierapolis, he was cruelly put to death. Some accounts suggest he was crucified, while others say he was beheaded. Bartholomew, flayed alive and then beheaded in 
in Armenia. Matthew, martyred by the sword in Ethiopia. Thomas, in India, he was run through with a spear. James the Less, was thrown from the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem and then beaten to death. Jude Thaddeus, in Persia, shot to death with arrows. Simon the Zealot, in Mauritania and Britain, he was crucified in 74 AD. Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed Jesus, he died by his own hand, and his place among the twelve was taken by Matthias, who was stoned and then beheaded. See, hey, they've been trying to silence the truth as long as we've been walking the earth, y'all, right? They don't want the truth out. Even here, you say the wrong things, you're going to get canceled, kicked off YouTube, y'all. If strikes, right? Check this out. Tyson Foods dumps 87 billion gallons of toxic waste, including cyanide, blood, and feces into the U.S. rivers and lakes, enough to fill 132,000 Olympic-sized pools, May 5th, 2024. Fast forward to today, and let's talk about Frozen. Most likely, many of you have seen this movie, and if you haven't, I'm sure you've heard the songs because your nieces and nephews have sung every word a thousand times. Remember, the devil is the most subtly created being there ever was. Deception often lies amongst the most seemingly innocent things. Error usually piggybacks off of truth. And despite the obvious reasons not to watch the movie, such as magic and sorcery, the film was praised for its noble qualities. Your actions affect others, the need for self-control, the power of sacrifice, and don't judge a book by its cover. But in all this truth, there lies a dangerous error. When Elsa decides to build her own ice castle, she sings that song, Let It Go. And the lyrics say, No right, no wrong, no rules for me, I'm free. This is a most dangerous philosophy to plant into children's minds. You see, the Ten Commandments are our only guide for right and wrong. Where there is no rules, there is only chaos. Alexa, what's the, the human population on Earth? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the world population today is approximately 7.91 billion. Alexa, what's the human population on Mars? Here's something I found on the web. According to worldanvil.com, today, Mars is the second largest habitable planet with a population of nearly 1.5 billion people. Alexa, what's the human population on the moon? Here's something I found on the web. According to Fandom.com, currently the moon houses approximately 126 million humans and is a major exports are silver, titanium, H3, plants, and oxygen. What in the fuck? <laughs> these, these demonic beings that are all over everybody, all of us, subconsciously, there's a holy uh, battle going over your head right now over the, the choices and everything your thought process your dreams everything that you're going through they're they're battling over your over your subconscious right now and we're able to visually see that when we pass away so the demonic ones will try to reach for us but they have no authority um through the most high and that we begin on our ascension to um to our judgment where we are judged and our karma is then placed on our seed our, our seed line when we're down here on earth so everything mm -hmm. that your son is going through is from whatever you your 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 dad your dad your dad your dad whatever sins that you have gone that's going to be placed on him i've always been one person skeptical of the word karma right uh i've always believed it the way i read it mm -hmm. you plant good seed right. good seed will grow right. if you plant negative seed bad seed will grow right. it, it will come back to you the only issue that i've ever had is that the passing along uh, uh that my son has to pay for what i've done mm -hmm. but so I, I, I'm sorry, bro. No, go ahead. You, you've grown up in your life at a, at, right here in this area, yes. right? And you've gone through certain shit that you that you that you've gone through. Is there any any time in your life where you could say, "Man, I don't deserve this"? Shit. And, and this is not a debate, but I, I, I just want people, the fans, to see a different perspective. Right, right. Uh, uh, and I asked a Hindu this because he was trying to teach me on karma, mm. and I was allowing him, but he said, "Oh, you know what?" Uh, um, he said this: "We don't like Christians going into our country." and trying to helping us because they don't allow us to deal with our our karma. Mm -hmm. And I said, so what are you paying? He goes, for what my ancestors did. Mm -hmm. And it was passed on to me. Right. So I just asked them this, how much do you owe? Who do you owe it to? And how do you know when you've paid it? And he couldn't answer. So that's why I kind of hang on to like, okay, I'm gonna hold off on that. 
mm. but I'm not going to totally just disagree with you. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So, because we have to have <clears throat> an open mind if we're ever going to learn. Right, right. Ghosts or any any spirit that's here, um, and I'm only stating from scripture. Um, those will be abominations. Those can't break the firmament or go to any sort of judgment. They're bound here to the judgment till they they will be cast into the lake of fire. Those aren't. Those were never supposed to be made. God didn't make them. There's animals here that are that are hybrids. There's people here that are hybrids that were never supposed to be made. Um, there's also um, fruit and vegetables that weren't supposed to be made. That are so, hybrids. Some people actually believe that chupacabras, if he's real, that he was a hybrid. Right. And then some people believe. Remember, for a while they were cloning animals. Oh, yeah. uh, let me say something about the Book of Enoch. What I, what I had heard. Right. Now I'm gonna go once again with what I had heard. Right. Right. That the reason why it was not included in the actual Bible, even though there are some disciples that actually do quote from the Book of Enoch. Right. Okay. It's because they never actually found a scroll, uh -huh. you know, from it. So they cannot confirm that the book of Enoch that is out today is the actual one that existed from the one they were quoting from. Right. So that's why. Um, a lot of people don't believe in it um, for whatever reason. I, because I study science too, I believe in it because of, if I were to explain the, the planets to you and show you videos on, on, on the real, how they really look, um, it matches perfect up with, with the Book of Enoch. Ooh, that's a monster in the sky. 19 ingredients in McDonald's french fries? Absolutely disgusting. So the fries should just be potatoes, salt, and oil. But nobody knows what's in this, so let's go to the website and find out. The potatoes are low quality and GMO. The vegetable oils are just a blend of terrible seed oils. Hydrogenated soybean oil is genetically modified and a trans fat. McDonald's fries is to be cooked in beef tallow. To cut costs, natural beef flavor. Look twice. To disappoint all the vegans out there, wheat and milk derivatives. So if you thought they were plant-based, you've been fooled. This is extremely important. They don't even show you all the ingredients because look, as starting ingredients. But luckily, I dove a little deeper and I found the real list of ingredients. Thanks to the legend Paul Saladino, we found the whole list right here dimethylpolysiloxane, which is an anti-foaming agent. Even the salt has four ingredients in it, including dextrose from GMO corn. You could never pay me to eat this chemical concoction. Here's the solution. Get some organic potatoes, sea salt. You can cook it in grass-fed beef tallow, and they taste way better than McDonald's french fries. Follow the channel for more health and wellness tips. I don't know if they're gonna taste way better because you can't lie, y'all. Those McDonald's fries are on another level. I don't eat them often. I, I don't even know the last time I went to McDonald's. Every time I eat, I feel sick. And that's probably what this dude's talking about, all those ingredients. But cut you some potatoes, put a little extra virgin olive oil on the foil, put them in the air fryer, a little salt when you get out. They're good, y'all. With a nice homemade burger, you're going to feel a lot better and you're going to drop some weight. You're here. Do it again. Now in the comments they were saying that means lightning's gonna strike in the area. Because it is a stormy day out there. My gracious me, look at the water just repels off of that. Absolutely terrible. Why? Because when they harvest this broccoli, they wash it. And then what they do, they apply pesticides to increase the shelf life of it. And then after the pesticide, guess what they do? They then uh, put a silicon uh, sheath over it to protect it so it doesn't dehydrate in the box. And then they irradiate it to increase the shelf life. And I wanted to find out how do I get all that poison off there. And here's an incredible product here, LDC, light duty concentrate, which does everything the same as a green. It might be just a little bit stronger. I put it into there for a few minutes and you're going to be totally shocked it's absolutely awesome i love this when i'm traveling this is what i get in other countries uh, you know what i when i travel to africa i tell my daughter make sure you've got some waiting for me because this stuff is awesome your coconut extract there if you see the difference over here can you spot the difference already Damn. absolutely amazing right if i take this water and i pour over there look what happens oh, yeah, there right. you go Isn't that just awesome and if i pour over this one look over here absolutely terrible so we got two heads of broccoli over here and the one we've removed the silicon 
Now, come on, you all know that all vegetables have a normal vegetable wax on them, but it's definitely not like this. You go and take some broccoli out your field, test it, it's definitely not like this. So how do I know? Because I was a farmer, I was a rancher, and I never had seen this in my life until I moved to the USA. But guess what? They do this all over the world now, and I just love something where I can remove the pesticides. So you've got your one that will protect us and one that could harm us. So you want to make sure you're taking the one that will protect you. Have an incredible day, and God bless. Like and follow. Now I'm going to be building a above the ground, what is it, like a above the ground garden? I forgot what they're called, but I'm going to be building some for my backyard. I have a big little concrete slab, and I want to have like, I don't know, two or three right there, garden beds, right? Uh, I can't put them on the floor because my beagle will tear them to shreds. So, um, But I do want to start planting some fresh vegetables. Um, probably just stuff for a salad that I enjoy cucumbers, of course, lettuce, onion, some peppers, some jalapenos, stuff like that. So, uh, I will be documenting all that. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but let me know down below. When do you start planting vegetables? Do you plant them in the fall and harvest in the spring? Or do you plant them like now in the summer and harvest in the fall? Let me know down below y'all. Of course, I'm going to do my research, find everything out, but I want to know what you guys know. I know you, I know I've gotten some comments from some farmers in the past videos. So let me know down below. When do you plant your vegetables so you can harvest them? Look at what they are feeding us. Cause I'm tired I of this. I have never had <laughs> this tired happen this. to my red onion. What is going on? That skinwalker, y'all. Things hauling ass. It just disappears. Crazy. Crazy things you see on the ranches and stuff. Now, there's a conspiracy, right, that I've heard. I don't know where I heard it. I want to get more into it. This is going to sound crazy. But, you know, that General Byrd went to Antarctica and saw the Germans working with uh, UFOs and aliens and all that. I heard that. I forgot what president was in office at that time, but he signed something with the aliens saying you can only experiment on the outskirts, right? You can't come to the cities and do these things. If you're going to experiment, you got to be in the national forests out in the outskirts of town, right? And like farms like that, or out in the woods. And that's where most of the abductions and all that happen. And on that missing 411, I went down that rabbit hole. He was saying a lot of the people that get, that are missing 411 cases have a German background. I don't know. We're gonna get more into that. I love some missing 411 stuff. I love being out in the woods, love hiking. We're going to get into it. Let me know down below if you guys know a little bit more about that and some videos to look up. When I was a little kid, I asked my dad, if countries are at war with each other all the time, then how come every four years they get together and play games at the Olympics? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do Pain that? in the ass, kid. And he didn't have an answer. But <laughs> Just watch funny. the damn track meet. Little kids know, man. It makes no sense. I'm sorry, but... If all these countries hate each other and they're all at war with each other, they're not going to put their differences aside every four years to play games. That's ridiculous. So, I mean, that's just one more, one more proof of nonsense. Not to mention, you know, the Antarctic Treaty was signed by all the countries in the whole world so that no one can do anything in Antarctica. I talked about so this. They were all able to get together and sign this treaty. Don't you think they would all be able to get together and lie to you? Because I do. I'm at the point now, I don't believe in countries anymore. I believe we have owners because it can pretty much be proven. I mean, BlackRock and Vanguard basically own the whole world. Pretty so much. We have owners, and I don't think we have countries. We have dividers. We have jails that we're all in that we're not allowed to leave without passports and licenses and certificates and all sorts of stuff. It's a scam. But this is for your entertainment. And I love you all. 
Good point. It's only going to get weirder. The level of contradiction is going to rise excruciatingly, even beyond the excruciating present levels of contradiction. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder, and finally, it's going to be so weird that people are going to have to talk about how weird it is. And at that point, novelty theory can come out of the woods uh, because eventually people are going to say, what the hell is going on? It's just too nuts. It's not enough to say it's nuts. You have to explain why it's so nuts. I look for the invention of artificial life, the cloning of human beings, uh, possible contact with extraterrestrials, possible human immortality, and at the same time, appalling acts of brutality, genocide, race baiting, uh, homophobia, famine, starvation, because uh, the systems which are in place to keep the world on point sane are in utterly inadequate to the forces that have been unleashed. Uh, the collapse of the socialist world, the rise of the internet, these are changes so immense nobody could imagine them ever happening. And now that they have happened, nobody even bothers to mention what a big deal it is. Uh, the mushroom said to me once, it said, this is what it's like when a species prepares to depart for the mm. stars. You don't depart for the stars under calm and orderly conditions. It's a fire in a madhouse. And that's what we have, the fire in the madhouse at the end of time. This is what it's like when a species prepares to move on to the next dimension. The entire destiny of all life on the planet is tied up in this. We are not acting for ourselves or from ourselves. We are, we happen to be the point species on a transformation that will affect every living organism on this planet at its conclusion. I like it. Calls for Israel's destruction. We always knew that Hamas hides in schools. We just didn't realize that it's not only schools in Gaza, it's also Harvard, Columbia, and many elite universities. Chants of the pro-Palestinian rioters on campuses are calls for Israel's destruction. My 93. Hey, it gets deep, <laughs> you know, when you start going against, I don't want to say the word, the J word, right? Uh, that's kind of crazy to say, right? They're over there bombing things and talking about these universities over here that are housing Gazans, I guess. Year old grandmother has noticed changes in the sun. That's what people say. That's what people are saying. Huh? Yeah, but I'm staring at too much. People say it's splashing too like that. So you heard that before? I've never seen that. And this young boy spot around. Look at gotta do is just stop and look around you'll start seeing the signs out there right but hey i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction i feel like it was a good one today make sure you guys leave a like subscribe you guys know the drill i don't gotta beat it into your heads every day you're either gonna do it or you ain't right whether i say it or not but anyways like i said on the post yesterday i want to start on my other channel not on this channel 
I love cooking, y'all. Now, I don't go crazy with the cooking. I keep it simple, quick, easy, right? But try to keep it clean. So I'm thinking of, you know, starting to show you guys some meals. I make some good chicken parmesan, broccoli with uh, bro beef broccoli, right? I cook a good steak. I'm out here in West Texas. We got endless carne asada and salsa and stuff like that. So I wanted, I might as well, right? I cook dinner every day damn near. So I might as well just put a camera on and show you guys. But we'll do a lot more, right? Some full days of eating some grocery hauls you know when i am gonna cook i'll make sure i go to the store and film me buying everything and getting good deals you know what i mean just showing you guys some tips and just showing what i'm about because you know there's more to life than this tiktok stuff so i want to show you guys that so i don't know when i'm going to start doing it i almost did a full day of eating today um, but we're going to be getting into it y'all so make sure you guys go subscribe to my other channel link is down in the description uh, we'll be getting some cooking videos over there y'all I just I enjoy watching cooking videos too I'll watch them all the time so anyways y'all I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction this is Segovia I'm signing out of the man cave we got one more reaction for the week I'm gonna see you guys on Friday make sure you guys have a good rest of your week see you guys